by World News. The latest now on Harvey Weinstein. As he seeks treatment in Arizona, police are now investigating in New York and London, and more women are now accusing him of sexual harassment and assault. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with the story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. One headline asks the question, has anyone fallen faster? One thing that's very clear, this was not just Hollywood's dirty little secret. Weinstein's downfall is taking others down with him. And according to Variety, as a result of this latest shakeup, the Weinstein company may be headed for bankruptcy. Explosive new accusations by actress Rose McGowan against Harvey Weinstein. In a series of tweets, McGowan doesn't mention Weinstein by name, but claims she was raped by H.W., something Weinstein has denied. The New York Times previously reported that McGowan settled with Weinstein for $100,000 after an incident in a hotel room in 1997. McGowan's new tweets are directed at Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. McGowan says she previously told an employee of Bezos, head of Amazon Studios Roy Price, of the alleged assault. The actress tweeted, he said it hadn't been proven. I said I was the proof. Price is now at the center of his own alleged harassment scandal. Amazon show producer Issa Hackett claims Price repeatedly made lewd comments in 2015, despite her rebuffing him. Hackett says she was inspired to speak out publicly after so many women came forward about Weinstein, telling The Hollywood Reporter, I hope we all continue to inspire each other and ultimately create change. Amazon tells ABC News Price is on leave of absence effective immediately. This as Oscar winner Emma Thompson becomes the latest celebrity to speak out against Harvey Weinstein. I don't think you can describe him as a sex addict. He's a predator. Speaking to the BBC, she calls Weinstein the tip of the iceberg. I think there are probably about a million missed opportunities to call this man out on his disgusting behavior. And actress Kate Beckinsale, known for box office hits like Serendipity and the Underworld franchise. The fight is personal. Beckinsale shared on Instagram that she met the former studio mogul at London's Posh Savoy Hotel when she was 17 years old. Now 44, Beckinsale alleges Weinstein opened the door in his bathrobe and offered her alcohol. She says she left uneasy but unscathed, but then adds, a few years later, he asked me if he had tried anything with me. I realized he couldn't remember if he had assaulted me or not. Weinstein is now reportedly holed up in this luxurious Scottsdale, Arizona resort, set to receive treatment for sex addiction. Hey guys, I'm not doing okay. You're not I'm trying. I gotta get help, guys. You know what? We all make mistakes. Second chance, I hope. Okay. As the investigations into Weinstein's alleged sexual harassment and assault go global, Scotland Yard confirms to ABC News they're looking into a newly reported alleged sexual assault involving Weinstein that took place in London in the 1980s. Back here in the States, the NYPD is reportedly reviewing Weinstein's background to see if they can identify, locate, and interview any potential victims. For the next 24 hours, a number of celebrities are vowing to stay off Twitter using the hashtag Women Boycott Twitter in support of actress Rose McGowan after the social media platform blocked McGowan, who has emerged as a Weinstein whistleblower. Twitter says it was because she violated their terms of service by posting a private number. She says there are powerful forces at work. And it's also important to note that Weinstein denies having uh, any non-consensual sex. Okay, Lindsay, thank you very much. Of course, much more on Harvey Weinstein and interviews with his accusers tonight on 2020. That's at 10 Eastern.